Wrong button. <laughs> Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Conan Exiles. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to be hopping into a new playthrough of Conan Exiles. I mean, I like this game. This game is really fun. I've played it quite a few times, not nearly as much as I have some other games, but I really, really enjoy it. Now, I actually recently, a few months ago, I started up a new playthrough of Conan Exiles, and I didn't feel that I gave it the proper... Um, attention that it needed because this is such a good game. I mean, it's so uh, polished. It, it it's it's just fun. I mean, <laughs> what else can you uh, ask for from a survival game? It's just fun. So uh, today, now that uh, actually, as speaking this as of March thirty first, uh, it's currently on sale on Steam. So hey, you know what? If you guys want to pick it up, go for it and do it. You know. Um, but uh, by the time you see this video, because this video will be out for a long time, it might not be on sale. But if it is on sale, pick it up. This is a great game. All right. So, um, and also they've got a bunch of new stuff uh, coming in. They posted a new roadmap for some of the development this year. And a lot of it looks really good, especially new maps and stuff like that. Sounds wicked, wicked fun. All right. So, hey, we're going to jump into single player mode. And we're going to start up a new game. Yes. All right. So, let's see. Um... Let's see. So when you start off, you've got a few different things. Uh, there's uh, Civilized, there's Decadent, and this is baseline Conan experience. You will drop all your items on death and recover them from your body. Buildings do not um, become abandoned over time. The Purge will target and attack your base periodically. I kind of like that one. Barbaric. This level is for players who consider themselves master of the survival genre. Alright, <laughs> able to optimize their character in all aspects of play. Enemies do significantly more damage and are significantly harder to kill. You gain experience only for your actions, not for simply surviving. Survival is harder, resources are harder to come by, you drop all items on death and must find your body to recover them, and the purge will still target you. And then custom- Oh hey, I like custom! Oh my gosh, we could go through and we could uh, make just our own little thing. Let's see, let's go. Whoa, 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 New game, yes. All right, um, oh, I like how they have this already set up. So either you can go through Civilized, which is just, you know, going through, having fun, uh, tame everything, super easy. You go with Decadent, uh, you go with Barbaric, and then, or you can just customize it, which is wicked, wicked cool. And I know that you can still open this up and you can change things as you uh, as the gameplay goes. So, yeah, um, let's take a look at a few things and then I'll bring you guys back. And you know what? We're going to go through. There's a huge character creation thing. I'll make my character. I'll bring you guys back at the end of that. All right? Because it, it's a lot of different things uh, to take a look at, but I'll show you as we go. All right, so we're back, and there is so much stuff that um, you can do here. I recommend when you're making your character, go through, figure out what you want to make, uh, what you want to do with your character, all sorts of different things. I mean, you can have all sorts of different religions and races. Oh, I thought I went with the Marian. Okay, yeah, but uh, yeah, as you're doing this, you go through it, and then you create, um, you pick your religion. Now, religion actually has some bonuses that come with each one. Uh, you get different armor sets, different weapons. Um, none of them are too game-breaking. A lot of them are game-changing slightly, um, kind of how you approach the game. But um, don't be afraid about picking the wrong one here. Just go with whichever description of one that you like best. And because you can eventually pick up all those along the way. You can also pick voices, uh, head options. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go with hair because... Yeah. All right. Now, I I had already done this all, but... Uh, yeah, here, let me do it really quick. Now, the facial hair, you can get all sorts of beards, stuff like that. And brows. Get that one. Go with that. Uh, eyeshadow. I mean, I like the eyeshadow because it takes... I mean, any race, basically, <laughs> and then it turns it into, you know, hey, uh, I am a Sumerian, but I don't look like a Sumerian, but yeah. Um, let's see, and then there's also all different, I mean, if you want, you can min-max, you know, the different cheek styles and eye scales and stuff like that. Body features, it's wicked cool. I mean, you can go with large, small, uh, even breast size, stuff like that. We can increase the physique, all sorts of cool stuff. It's really, really cool, and it, it's really in-depth. I, I encourage you to explore around with that quite a bit before you uh, um, commit to your character, but yeah, it's it, it, it's really cool. All right, so hey, let's uh, let's see, what do we got? Blinger Fu, the Sumerian, condemned to death in exile for crimes including decapitation of a priest, 
punching a camel, and pickpocketing. All right. So, uh, yeah, we are... Hey, so we're straight out of uh, Conan the Barbarian. Awesome. I'm good with this. All right. So let's confirm. Bam. And then there's a big, huge cutscene that's going to play right now, and During I will just let that run of on. The Cobra. A prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the exiled lands, crucified, and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly on black wings, until fate intervenes. Thirsty, dead man. Shall I cut you down from that corpse tree? It might kill you. You civilized men are soft. Your lives are not nailed to your spines. Where I come from, we kill our enemies in battle. We don't leave them in the desert to die like dogs. So, you live again, dead man. This land does not love men. You are marked. Cross the ghost fence wearing that. <laughs> it might have been kinder to leave you on the cross. Live, love, burn with life, slay and survive. We will meet again. Dead man. I gotta say, I love that intro. It is amazing. <laughs> I love watching it every single time. All right, let's see. There we go. And there we are. All right, so, um, you start out with nothing. You start out naked and afraid in here, and you can start off by just um, using your uh, pickup key, whichever you have it set to pick up these little stones and I recommend you doing that it's actually uh, it helps out quite a bit also there'll be bushes up here not right here all right and also Behold, bonded one, the very boundaries of civilization beyond the passage of our highways like the wild places of the world where untamed savages make endless war upon each other cannot pass into the endless wastes enslaved. Your bonding prevents it. Return. Follow the road. Any road. All roads lead to the city. Yeah, and then uh, there's these, uh, there's those, um, little tablets all around, kind of spread throughout the map to give you lore and all sorts of cool stuff. It, it's really fun. Alright. And there's kind of a challenge to go in and collect them all 
Right. And of course, we got some buzzers hanging out up top. That's always a warm sign, right? And I want to pick this stuff up because um, some of the stuff that you get, uh, these uh, seeds and uh, some of the grubs that appear down here in your one slot, those are actually uh, you really your only source of food right now. Uh, eventually, you can get, you know, you can slay some uh, different things, hack them apart, cook their meat, all sorts of different stuff. And then, yeah, but right now I'm just getting a little bit of XP. Now here, um, all right, as you see on the top left, there's a few different things. The very top little bar that's slowly filling, that's your XP bar. That's, uh, um, is, whenever that hits, um, full, you get a level. And then, um, below that is your health, and below that one, the red one is your health, and then below that, the yellow one, is your stamina. Never, ever, ever let your stamina bar completely run out, because when that happens, you incur a negative for the next couple seconds, which kind of, um, makes your screen go black and white, and then means that you're, you kind of gave yourself a little debuff that is going to hinder you for the next little bit. So, it's important that if you're going to run down your stamina by, like, sprinting or something like that, never let it go all the way to the end, or else you're going to get stuck uh, being in a bad place at a bad time. <laughs> it's just the way it works. All right, and then below that, you have the water, the food, the weight, and the temperature. And those are all, those all kind of affect how you do things. Uh, the water, you increase by drinking things. The food is by eating things. The weight, uh, I'm not sure how far you want to increase that, but that's how much you can carry. Now, in this game, unlike some survival games, you never get fully 100% encumbered. You can still move even when max encumbered. So, yeah, just remember that you can still kind of, like, hobble your way slow-mo style to whatever kind of resources uh, are from the resources that you're gathering. Let's see, can we make anything yet? Craft a pick. Can we craft a hatchet? Yep, let's do that. And then also we need some clothing. Craft that. Craft that. That. And craft that. Oh, also we're gonna need... Oh, we need hide and more twines for this. Now to make twine, twine is actually uh, one of the... It's like one of your staples that... Um, this stuff right here, it's just um, plant fibers. You're going to eventually find yourself going out and harvesting a ton of these plant fibers. So you just keep that in mind that uh, you always want to have some of this on hand just so you can make stuff like that. Also, we could... Uh, see, we're making that. Okay, so we're clothing ourselves. And also, you'll get all of these... Uh, let's see, the journey little steps. These steps right here will give you bonus XP as you're going. So if we uh, were to climb something, we'd get bonus XP, drink something, eat, uh, use a bedroll, slay, kick, dodge, all that stuff. You get bonus XP. So let's knock those out here really quick. So let's see. Kick is... No, that's the wrong one. No. The kick is... Wrong button. Wrong button. Uh, let's see. What is my kick key? Oh, there we go. There we go. So there's roll, there's kick, and then also we can just run up to any of these surfaces. Whoops, wrong button. And just climb. And then see that? We just instantly got XP for all those things, which is wicked cool. All right, so now let's see. And of course, we already got pants. And pants are the most important part of all this beginning intro. Because without pants, you can't fight evil. And we're going to be fighting a lot of evil today. Or at least maybe a little bit. So, yeah. But I want to get all these sticks along the way as we're headed. I don't want to overexert myself by sprinting, which will drain our water extra fast. But also, I want to get out of this desert because our water is going to be going down super fast while we're doing this. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Yeah. What you chewing on? I see you got something, man. You want to share? Yeah? Hey! 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 What happened to friendly na- Oh, never mind. Never mind! I'm glad you didn't want to share, dude. It's fine, dude. All right, let's see. The gods cursed this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. 
The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that like fire, or the bite of the axe. Okay, so, yeah. Dead dude who's uh, talking to us through a journal. <laughs> okay. All right, and our water's running out wicked fast, so let's get up there. See if we can get some more twigs along the way. And it will just kind of randomly spawn you along... Here, let me punch up the map. When you spawn, it'll just kind of randomly spawn you around on this, sometimes over here as well. But, yeah, just know that one of the easiest things is just follow the road and it'll take you into where you need to be. I mean, it is possible that if you are have a wanderlust streak that uh, you can get lost out here in the desert. But... Eventually, you'll stumble upon another one of these roads because they're kind of all, they're littered all around the place. Just follow it in places like this, which is actually a pretty good spawn spot for us. Now, hold on. Can we? No, we can't make a sword yet. Let's see. Um, let's go with attributes. Every time you get a level, you get, uh, you get attribute points. Now, you can put these attribute points into uh, um, your stats here that give you all sorts of different buffs. It's like, say, if we had... Um, uh, when we, um, oh, mouse over, uh, strength, it'll tell us at this one right here, the very first one, it gives us thuggery, which is each blow you strike with a blunted weapon deals 100% more concussive damage, which is good for knocking out thralls and stuff like that. Uh, and then you get all sorts of different buffs going all the way up. Um, then you have agility, and then sprinting drains less stamina, which is very important. Then fall damage is halved, and then, uh, you can also, uh, dodge when your armor count, um, your armor counts as double. Uh, ju uh, jumping no longer costs stamina. That's actually pretty huge. And extended leap. Jump while on the air to do a second jump. That's pretty cool too. And then also you get all these from uh, vitality, um, accuracy, grit. Um, let's see, this right here is pretty much just how tough you are. This is how healthy you are. This is how accurate you are. This is how nimble you are. This is how strong you are. This is how much you can carry. And this is just how good you are at survival. So um, with this right here, you can actually cook um, raw meat without um, getting food poisoning, which is pretty good as well. So all of these actually have really, really good benefits. And then once we get these, once we spend these, let's see, um, let's go with, you know, I think I want to go with strength first. So we're going to spend two, three. And then as this gets higher, this costs more and more to uh, raise. So once we hit, I think here, it starts costing two, and then eventually it'll turn into three points and stuff like that. It's really cool. All right, so now we're here. I want to learn immediately this sword or some sort of melee weapon. That way there we can defend ourselves. There we go. Spend knowledge points. Also, I want to learn mason because that one's going to be important to building ourselves a base. And, of course, our throat feels dry. But remember when I was talking about religion? This right here is the stuff that you get for uh, the religion. Now, um, by picking Mitra... We're allowed to make the, sh the shrine and then the onk, so where we can uh, harvest stuff, so where we can make the other stuff, which is ambrosia. That's the very beginning one. Now, eventually, it... Um, oh, these are the different religions. You can eventually unlock all these. Eventually, as you uh, level up and stuff, you'll get higher level shrines and better stuff. It, it, it's a pretty cool system. Uh, going. And then these ones right here with the down arrow. If you don't have these on your game, pay no attention to them. Uh, they're the DLC stuff. They're basically just reskins of everything. So um, you can play with the default skins, no problem. I just um, use them because I like I like the different skins. Right, so we're out of points now because we spent all of them. But I think we got some pretty good stuff. So let's go back into inventory and let's go down. Uh, where's the sword? Sword takes that. So let's craft one. And I want to keep enough stuff in my inventory just so where we can repair this thing if we need to. All right, so sword let's put that in seven because it's easiest for me all right so get a dedicated weapon uh what other journey stuff do we have and let's see oh, okay so we can drink eat slay and be merry right all right all right cool i like this all right so let's equip this and as soon as you equip a weapon you immediately go into combat stance and we need to fight our way in here to go get some water because it's gonna we're gonna start running low if we don't Alright, 
Now, there's going to be bad guys up here close to the river. Now, we can kind of avoid them for the most part. We have to keep our eyes out and get all sorts of stuff along here. Now, see all this right here? We can actually climb all these cliffs. <laughs> That's one of the things I love about this game. If you, if you see something, you can climb it. Okay, so we ate some uh, berries, or some, uh, let's see, some handful of insects. And whenever you eat in this game, depending on what kind of food you eat, you'll uh, oh, start regenerating a little bit of health. Which is important. It means it's important that uh, you carry around food with you. And we're going to try to see if we can work our way down here. I need to start looking for a spot already so where we can make a, like a little rudimentary shack. Oh, hey, there's a crocodile right there. Hello. Hey, here's something. The friend or be foe? All right, so we're getting dizzy. All right, now when it comes around to the water, we can just go up like this to the water and then lean down and then press our button and we'll drink. So we kind of want to stay close to the water source, but also remember water sources attract bad things like those, like the little crocodiles that come up and want to be your friend with their teeth. It's great. Okay, and these guys right here, um, for the most part, they're like these big, huge walking turtle dudes. Um, they generally won't aggro on you unless you mess with their nests or if they're colored red. If they're colored red, they will beat the crap out of you without even questioning. But just these little green dudes, if you don't mess with them, they're not going to mess with you. All right, so let's get over here. Let's go see if we can find something. Oh, and there's people. People will always try to kick your butt in this game. But the goal, the goal is kind of kick the people's butt. Okay, now that guy right there, he's going to go over and pick a fight. And also, those little dudes, little demon dudes right there, they will aggro on you and then try to uh, uh, scare the crap out of you with their little shrieks and growls and grunts and groans. But as long as you don't have like 50 of them um, attacking you, it's fine. Who's going to win? Whichever one wins, I'm going to kill the winner. All right, kill the winner. Harvest the winner. And then harvest the loser. Take all. Hey, we got stone daggers. I like daggers. All right. And then we're going to harvest him up too because... Harvesting humans is a thing that you can do in this game. <laughs> All right, so I think we might have enough hide, but I want to go kill these little dudes over here. Get some food up. Got our daggers. All right, he's dead. Now the daggers make things bleed, which is wicked cool. All right, there's that. Where'd this other guy go? Where'd you go, man? How dare you die and hide your corpse? I was looking for that. Oh, here it is. Never mind. Never mind. Found it. Thank you. Oh, that volatile glands. Okay. So let's see. Can we sneak up on this guy? You know what? Let's just charge him. Now, you can also do uh, light and powerful attacks. And each one does different things. Uh, with the daggers, um, you do a bleed attack. It's it's pretty cool. And then it makes it puts like a little damage over time or a dot on him. Which is uh, signified by the little bleed icon that was on there. I don't think we're anywhere close. Hello. 
Oh, there they are. Hey, dudes. How you doing? It's nice of you to be up there and me down here. Sucking, dudes. Oh, there's three of them up there. Suck it even more, dudes. All right, let's see if we can get up here. All right, you guys be on that little ledge over there. I'm gonna go up on this little ledge. And I'm gonna make a little shack, okay? All right, we're all good, right? You be over there, a little grunting and groaning in the neighborhood. I'm gonna be over here, and everything's gonna be fine, okay? So let's climb up here. Have I said yet how much I love the climbing mechanic in this game? <laughs> it's really cool. All right, let's see. Harvest up some stuff. All right, and get some trees. Because we're gonna need wood to build the shack. Now when it comes to harvesting in this game, unlike some other games, um, just use the proper tool or the uh, thing or for whatever you're trying to do. So if you're trying to harvest these things up, just use a pick. It's so much easier. I mean, you can do it with other things. Like here, see? But it's just not going to be as good. So use the pick, and you'll get better stuff. Oh, we're already getting iron stuff. All right! All right, now we're over-encumbered. See how I said when you're in over-encumbered, you can still move? Yeah, we can still move a little bit. We're not going to be able to, you know, like, sprint too fast or anything like that, but we can still do it. All right, let's go with foundations. Let's craft six of these so we can get our rudimentary shack up and going. All right, so when placing our rudimentary shack... Well, wrong button. All right, uh, you can actually put your foundations pretty much just about anywhere you want. It's really... <laughs> building in this game is wicked, wicked fun. All right, so also you'll see down the bottom, you can... Uh, let's see, you can raise and you can lower everything. So, yeah. And it's like, all we do is hold down, uh, left shift, and then use the air, um, use the, uh, wheel, and then you can raise it up and lower it. it it's, I, I love building this. And then also you can, uh, just attach the foundations directly to this, uh, um, to the sandstone wall. It, it, wicked cool. Alright, so, I want to, let's see, raise it up just a little bit. Let's go. Right there. And sometimes, see how I was getting that air right there? If uh, you just go around to a different location, and then it'll let you snap it. All right, let's go harvest up some more stuff. Wrong button. Then also, you'll notice that as we're doing this, our uh, materials or our pick is going to be uh, taking damage. It has a durability of its own so you kind of are going to need to uh pay a little bit of attention to that but for the most part um when it comes around to the stone tools um it's not as important but when you get up to the higher tools the kind of uh, uh metally tools you know the ones with sharper bits on them then those ones are going to uh be a little bit harder to uh repair now you can do it on the fly uh fly with uh repair kits but for the most part uh when it comes around to the stone stuff, just carry extra bits to repair them on your um, when you're out here harvesting, and it, it's really not that big of a deal. All right, now when placing uh, these things on the side of your little ramshackle hut, it, it, the stamp spots are actually really, really easy. But let's uh, go through, and I mean, we're gonna try to make this thing look a little bit um, decent because I mean, if you're gonna build something, I mean, build it right, you know, make it look good. Especially if you're playing in solo, you don't have to worry about any kind of PvP elements or anything like that. You don't have to worry about things coming in. Well, you do if the purge is active. You have to worry about things um, attacking it. But you don't have to worry as much. So, you know, make it make it look decent, you know? Take pride in where you live. Right? Right? Now, let's see. The, uh... There we go! Nailed it! Alright, so now we've actually got a little shelter. 
All right, now we're, while we're doing that, let's see. Let's get a door. Where's the door? If I was a door, where would I look for a door? Ah, I nailed it. All right, let's see. Bam, crap that door up. All right, so now we've got that. Let's also get a fire pit going. Also, we're going to need to get a bedroll. I think we've got, yeah, get a bedroll going. And then a fire. And then also a torch, because night times... Just insane around here. So, oh, hold on, can we make... <gasps> we can, yeah, all right. Sweet, we got all sorts of cool stuff. All right, so now let's take... Let's put the water down there. Let's take, put that down there. We're not going to eat our bees just yet. All right, let's take this. Let's put this down here. Now, for the um, fire, we're going to put this right there. And then open up our campfire. We've got some meat in here. We had some... Oh, we're not going to eat human flesh. I'm not going to eat the human flesh. Thanks, though. Oh, but we're going to put this in here. Feral flesh. Put our wood in there. And then we're going to get that cooking. Uh, just by turning this little button up here. Now, this right here, it tells you what fuel it's using. Now, also, if you have any questions about what fuel it uses, over here on the right, it'll tell you. Um, it, it'll just say, wood plus meat, which is our feral flesh. And pressing play equals cooked meat over time. So now we've actually got some shredded roast here. So that's good stuff. So we're, um, this stuff right here will give you more food than pretty much just about uh, any other thing you can get at this point. Uh, I mean, eventually we'll be getting the the bigger cut, the better cuts of meat and stuff like that. But as of right now, this, this is pretty much the best we can ask for until we get better. Getting better is always good, right? All right. And let's put down our bedroll which we'll get XP for. And this right here, it works as our save spot. So this right here, as long as you have the bedroll down here, you can, um, uh, this is where you'll respawn whenever you die. Yes. So, but uh, you need to make sure that you're always on top of where your bedroll is going to go. Also, you can also get uh, better bedrolls, uh, bigger um, spawn spots, all sorts of stuff. But just know that for the beginning, that's the one you want. All right, but hey, anyway, that's where I'm going to end this episode. So this is the first episode. I hope the video helped you out. I hope that um, you learned a few things about starting. If not, if you're a veteran um, player, I just hope you enjoyed the video. So hey, if you're uh, new, if you like the video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. It really helps me out. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Take it easy, everybody.